Okay, 5-2 is applications of right triangles. Um, draw a photo in this section. If you don't draw, you'll regret it. <laughs> um, so we're going to take the right triangles we learned in 5-1, and then we'll solve them either using inverse trig or equations um, from 4-8 and 4-9. So let's draw a picture. So we have a tower, a 50-foot tower. There's my tower, 50 feet. Um, it's at the edge of a river. So here's the river. Um, and then the angle of elevation between the opposite side and the tower. I'm going to just put them right here just to make the picture more clear. So an angle of elevation means we have a flat part that's kind of the same that goes to the bottom of the building and the angle of elevation goes to the top and it tells us that it's 37 degrees. And you'll notice we make a nice right triangle with the building. So how wide is the river? River. So we have 37 degrees and we have 50 and here would be the width of the river. So I think tangent would be the use, most useful function here because we have opposite and adjacent. So tangent of 37 degrees is 50 over W. Multiply by W and then we'll divide by tangent. And we'll just use calculators to approximate because this is not a unit circle value. So for most ap applications, we'll use a calculator to estimate. So um, make sure you're in degrees, wherever that setting is. And we will do 50 divided by tangent of 37. And so the width of the river is about 66 point three, five, and it'll be in feet. And that's it. Um, if you don't draw a picture though, this is almost impossible. All right, just two more. All right, we have a five mile segment of a road, straight segment. So that makes me think um, we're going on a road, here's the road. five miles and it says it climbs 4,000 feet so that means there's an elevation to it so this would be vertical right the road itself is not vertical it's slowly climbing 4,000 feet and so then the horizontal is unknown um, I do see a minor issue with this triangle um, miles and feet that's not really that helpful for us so let's um, convert the miles to feet. So five miles, um, you could look this up, but 5280 feet is one mile. So we can just multiply. And we get a lot of feet, 26,400 feet. At least now the units match. And then we want to know the angle the road makes with the horizontal. So what angle, what's basically, it's kind of like the steepness of the road. What angle is it making? So in this case, I'm probably going to use uh, probably sine because I have opposite and hypotenuse. I'm going to use the ones with the same units. So sine of theta equals 4,000 over 26,400, which is probably not that helpful. It's probably not going to be an angle we know, right? Yeah, we don't know this angle. So the way we can solve this is we can actually use an inverse function. So we haven't done this yet with them. But we can say theta is sine inverse, and then of, and I'm actually going to go back to the original. Right, we learned that if sine theta equals, I don't know, x, then theta equals sine inverse of x. That's what's going on here. And then we should have a sine inverse co function. Um, I can't remember if the iPhone has this function or not. Let me pull it out. But if not, you can use the internet. There's apps. 
Yeah, I don't see sine inverse on the iPhone. But even Google has a calculator. So, or Desmos is a free one. There's tons of options. So we'll do sine inverse, which is above sine on mine. So just use Desmos if you don't have a calculator or Google one. You don't need to buy a fancy calculator. And then I got 8.7, I think this is in degrees. Yeah. So you gotta check the settings if you're in degrees or radians. But I got 8.71 degrees. If you're in radians, it's giving you a different answer. Um, usually, so calculus, we like radians, but applications, we tend to like degrees because that's how people describe angles in the real world. Uh, but there's just certain math that you can only do with radians, so it's just nice to have both. All right, there's one more example. I'll do it in another video.